Welcome to Color Compare, updated for the new contrast colors. These are our red colors. And we have four returning uh, champions, I suppose you could say. They were all pretty good in the uh, last video. This video kind of replaces that one, but also kind of not. So we're going to still kind of go through all these fresh, but if you want to go back and look at the older video, you certainly can. All right, so what do we have here? We have our two new colors, and the colors that we're bringing here, the new ones, are the Doomfire Magenta and the Contrast Ball Red. And yes, I did throw the magenta in there. And you might see why if I look at these two new colors. You might say, yeah, they're not all that uh, different there. So, you know, they're, they are different. I mean, obviously this is more of a magenta e pink, and this is more of a red. But it's close enough that we're going to compare it, right? I guess we might say, how different are those? That could be a question we would ask. Alright, so let's kind of start off with a little bit of a review here. We have our um, Blood Angels Red. I've got them written on the bottom here. And our Blood Red. So this one from the Army Painter. This one here from Citadel. And loving this shading here on the Citadel side. Army Painter, really bright, but still has got some good shadings and highs and lows so there you go if you really let it pool up now that was a little bit of an oopsie there but if you really let it pool up you can get some pretty dark shades with this color especially you see kind of down underneath this kind of tongue area there and so you can definitely um do multiple coats or really kind of tailor this to your liking though i will say the citadel went on in one coat which was certainly quite nice all right, we do have then our Flesh Terrors Red and our Slaughter Red. I think these ones we said were similar before. They're still pretty similar. I haven't done anything to these squigs since then. I'm going to be finishing these up, kind of showing you how that works. This one, again, nice dark areas where you let it pool. I might have let it pool a little bit too much, but this is just one coat kind of speed paint coverage. And if we kind of look at how these are, you know, the two Citadels next to each other, well, there you go. You can see some difference there. So it's really just kind of which hue or shade you want here. A little bit lighter or more of a warm tone on this side. A little bit darker, more of a cool tone on this side here. So there we go. Both excellent contrast. With the Army Painter here, I think the um, Slaughter Red is the real winner. It's a little bit too light, uh, the um, Blood Red is for my squigs. But, you know, a little diversity in your squigs. Never a problem, right? So there we go. The thing I thought was interesting, though, is here comes along this ball red. And ball red, if we look at it, has very little as far as actual shadows go and very little as far as actual highlights. Get a little bit of these white areas where it didn't quite cover fully, but, you know, that's just a one coat kind of thing. I would definitely go over and touch that up or give it another coat. One thing I did have a problem with with this ball red that I did not have a problem with with either of these other two Citadel paints was actually getting this to cover without it being like, um, without it kind of pooling up. So this ball red really kind of pooled up almost like the surface was, you know, afraid of liquid, uh, kind of, you know, how liquid can beat up on a non-porous surface. So that was kind of interesting that that did that. I'm using the same primer here, Army Painter Matte White, for all of them. I don't know if the new formula is a little bit more picky. Same thing here with the Doomfire Magenta, so let's put them up next to each other here. Both quite flat, not much for shadows, not much for highlights, really not contrast paint as you'd want it to be. Getting uh, the red here. How's the red? It's a lighter red. There the ball red is, then the Flesh Terror's red. It's uh, lighter, but also just a different hue than the uh, Blood Angel's red. So, you know, we're looking at something very different here. I was thinking maybe it would be kind of like this Blood Red, but again, this Blood Red actually has, like, depth and shadows and things to it. Versus this Ball Red, I'm going to have to do a wash on it to really accomplish the same thing. So there we go. That's uh, what we're looking at there. As far as the Doomfire Magenta compared to some of these, it's definitely more of a magenta color. Again, I'm going to have to shade this with some 
Agrax Earthshade or something to really get this same kind of effect that I already have out of the pot over here. And so for me, it's just not as uh, interesting as um, just using you know a real contrast paint. This uh, Doomfire Magenta hardly feels like a contrast paint. There you go. I feel like those two look pretty similar in color. If I just put some Agrax Earthshade over this one, maybe over the um, Doomfire Magenta, they might be pretty similar. That's the Army Painter Slaughter Red. So overall, um, of these six, uh, which ones would I actually buy uh, for me, for my use? Well, for painting squigs and things, the things I do with red, uh, either of these two here, that's the uh, Citadel Flesh Terrors Red, just checking, yep, that is the Flesh Terrors Red, and then the Slaughter Red over here on the Army Painter, yep. Those two are my stars of the show. They come with the shading already there, the highlighting already there. Nice one coat and it's done kind of thing. I could see grabbing either the Blood Red or the Blood Angels Red, depending on your needs, if you want maybe more of a kind of pinky red or a a little bit of a different tone there. You know, you've seen them all on camera here. Pick the one that's going to work for you. Over here I'm going to say the Ball Red and the uh, Doomfire Magenta. What would I use those for? The answer is I really won't be using these much. Uh, if I'm going to try to get this effect, I'm honestly just going to use a regular base paint. And I'm not going to try to use uh, some kind of a contrast paint. The only reason I might use these is because, well, I already have them. You know, I bought them mostly for doing the videos, but I thought that these would actually be some really cool colors for squigs. Turns out with the lack of shading, they're just not doing it for me. And so with the extra work, I will finish them out and do a video on how to do that with these squigs here. But otherwise, uh, these are going to probably sit in the drawer of less used paint. All right, folks, let me know if you have questions about this or if there's a comparison here that I just didn't quite cover. We're getting a lot larger comparison videos, so I'm trying to hit all the points for you. Happy to answer your questions in the comments. All right, thanks for watching. Take care. Let's get gaming.